Welcome, my name is Michele and I'm a Senior Application Development Scientist at Molvor Political. Today, I'm going to show you how the Zetasizer Sample Assistant will help you improve the utilization of your Zetasizer Advanced System while retaining the same high data quality that you expect from a Zetasizer. The Zetasizer Sample Assistant is fully configurable, allowing the user to have up to six trays on the base plate. At the moment of the installation, one of our service engineer will configure this position for you. But in case anything change, configuring the system is easy enough that you can do it by yourself. For performing the configuration, you will need two tools. So the first tool is data, which is placed in the tool holder. And the next tool is our calibration bay. The first step of your configuration is opening your ZX Explorer software and navigating in the sample assistant tab. Once in the Sample Assistant tab, you will have to navigate in the Configuration page where you will be able to configure the tool bay position, the Zeta Sizer instrument position, and all the trays that you have installed on your bays. The first position that you have to configure is the tool holder positions. The reason for these is that the tool holder position serves as master datum for all the other positions that we're going to configure later on. To perform the configuration, simply click the wrench button and the robot arm as you can see will start to move and record the position of the tool holder. Once we recorded the tool holder position the next operation is to configure the position of the Zeta Sizer itself. For doing this operation, we need to take the Datum tool and insert it in the Zeta Sizer. Once the tool has been inserted, you can just press the configuration button on the software and wait for the robot to record the positions. Once the software is happy with the configuration, the arm will extract the datum tool and place it back in the tool holder. Once we configure the position of the tool holder and of the Z sizer, the last step is to record the position of the trays. For this operation, you will need a tray calibration tool. So once you're ready to perform the operation, just press the configuration tab and the robot arm will initially find the position and the Z of the tray. Once this location has been found, the software will ask you to place the tray calibration tool on the position. Once it's in position, just press OK and the arm will finish the configuration process. Once the configuration process is finished, the operator can remove the calibration tool and start to perform the configuration of the other positions. Once all the trace positions have been recorded, the operator can just save all the location to a configuration file by pressing the Save button. As you have seen, the Zeta Sizer Sample Assistant is an easy way to increase your Zeta Sizer utilization while retaining high quality data and free up operator time. 